Yep. Lots of progress today. Um, I managed to. Oh, there's the pillar. Um, I've put a bunch of holes in the side, ready for my spot welds. I've done the same thing with the inner sill and those spot welds. shit out of it. Um, I've tested with the door, which is over there. Um, I'm not going to do the B-pillar yet because I've do. I'm going to repair some of this. Put in some new metal, um, and, it, and definitely I'm going to replace those captive nuts. So um, I'll weld this in tomorrow. I have dishes to do. Management insists. And uh, then I will. Uh, Ooh. A little bit of a gap here. I need to. Fuck. Now I need to uh, reposition. God damn it! All that work. Oh well. <sighs> oh well. Yep. I'm gonna have to do it. Take all these things off except for over there. Over there is positioned well. Over here see right there it's a little bit too far down right there and it's definitely too far down here I suppose well who knows yeah I'd have to redo it crap oh well well this damn thing's done finally um I had some good welds I had a couple bad ones that I had to redo and that's not too bad. I got a guy at work that uh, runs a shop on the side. He gave me some some tips and tricks. This is a hole that I filled. Um, when I started welding. I actually warped some of the metal, and because I, okay, it, you know, got too hot, obviously. And when I uh, put it back into place, I welded and rewelded, and it looks uglier in hell. But I'm gonna you know, grind it out. These aren't too awfully bad. Come on now. These aren't too awfully bad. And these down here are uglier and piss, and none of those goddamn things help. So I'm gonna redo all of those once I do some grinding work tomorrow. Um, grinding, 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 grinding. And those I'm pretty good with. A little things to touch up over there, but uh, overall not too bad. Um. I'm thinking I'll take off the windshield next, just because I'm beginning to uh, need stuff up above my little loft here, and I just know for a fact I'm going to break something, like a windshield. So, it'll go up in my attic. Um, I need to put those braces on, on both sides, and I need to go on a Barney site and find a pattern, and I'll just make them myself, I guess, and uh, go from there. Other than that, my next... Uh, my next welding work after I put the braces in is going to be the air intake. The little floor area on my car, it's pretty much rusted out. Um, I don't even want a chance. I mean, I've got a whole new panel, so I'm not going to, you know, in my younger days, <laughs> I probably would have fiberglassed it over and called it a day. <laughs> uh, not now. Uh, I'm getting the hang of the welding. And I'm beginning to understand when it sounds good and sounds right and sounds bad and all that other stuff. And how to overcome my own lack of skill or my own ignorance. And uh, I'm getting better, so I guess that's all you can hope for. Uh, I took a long time to put the uh, put the B pillar here just right. Doors and readjustments and remeasures and redos and on and on. So I'm pretty confident. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm confident the doors will go on fine, um, you know, up with the fenders and everything else, but I guess we'll see when I uh, put the whole thing back together. Hopefully I won't have to shim and shimmy and shake and bake and, uh, so anyway, there is that. And I am done. Um, well, with this anyway, I need to put the, uh, I don't know what you call them, the, the scuppers, the, the side braces on. But uh, I have finished welding. I have dumped probably half a can of 
etch primer inside the uh, the B pillar and from both forward from here here and from behind you can see it dripping down that'll dry out um, and I'll make it look pretty some of it's still as you can see drying um, this is my second piece of Amazon wrapping paper uh, that I put down here the other one's quite a puddle uh, again my my goal was to get all of the uh, the stuff that got bared out to be to be painted from the from the back. Um, I'm likely to strip all this down anyway when I start to repaint the tub. But um, welds don't look too bad. I'm getting better anyway. Ish. Some of that is paint. Some of that is just like that. That is paint that bubbled up. I'm gonna like I say strip all this down anyway once it's time. And this looks pretty good. Let's see, there's a light in there. No, it's not, not a shadow. But I have an issue that I have to contend with. And it is that. When I started to weld this stuff up, I, uh, what do you call it, warped the metal and started to warp more than just this joint, so I cut it to make it nice and even. Uh, I, I suppose I could just put a piece of bar stock or something in there and weld it in, now that I'm a welding expert, or such. But I'm sure there's a better way, so I'll think about that. I may just do this when I take off the body deal with it then, I don't know. At any rate, I am finished. I am done. This means I can do the scuppers. I've decided to go on to the uh, intake floor, or what you call it, you know, where the, where the, right in front of the radiator, and then I'll take the body off. So, I'm riding high on paint fumes and success. Woo -hoo.